This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace of here and welcome to C++ tutorial number 14. Uh, as I promised, we're going to be looking over the calculator. Um, the calculator program, sorry. Uh, and for the calculator, I decided to use switch statements. Uh, but where I put switch statements, you can as easily use if state if blocks if you want. Uh, uh, and you should be able to work that out. Uh, actually, try that as an exercise. Replace where I put switch with an if block. Okay. Uh, anyway, include the IO stream. And now we're, we're also going to include two uh, very new um, libraries. Uh, well, not libraries, sorry, they're header files. Uh, we need cc type and we need conio.h. Uh, and I'll tell you why we need those when we get to um, the functions that we use from them. Uh, anyway, for now, let's just get on with the program. Uh, so we got int main uh, and we'll just start putting something saying welcome to the calculator program. And now we declare a boolean variable called done and we assign it a value of false and that's going to be our control variable for the while loop we're going to use and we just said while not done and all that will do is it will say while done is equal to false basically um, yeah while done is equal to false continue looping through the program because um, like this we're saying while done is true so remember we the uh, the exclamation mark just reverses everything, so actually we should probably put this between uh, uh, parentheses just to make it easier. Sometimes these things muck up, so it's always good to place them around parentheses. Uh, sorry, in parentheses. So what this is saying is, without the exclamation mark, it would be while well done is true. So because the exclamation mark reverses everything, it's while well done is false. Um, and kind of suits it because we're saying while we're not done basically uh, and that's why I've initialized done with a value of false as opposed to a value of null uh, whereas remember if I'd used a do while loop I wouldn't I could initialize it to null and um, and I could let the user decide at, uh, at the end of the program whether we continued the calculator program or whether we didn't uh, I've just decided to go with a while loop because I kind of prefer while loops. No reason really, just a uh, very personal pre preference. Um, we put four light, four um, carriage returns here because when we get to the very bottom, it will say, um, "Would you like to use calculator program again?" And you know you can you can press Y or N for yes or no. And if we didn't have those four line breaks up here, then the end of the program, which we just outputted there, would be right next to the beginning of the program, which we're outputting here, and it would kind of look a bit rubbish. So that's why I've got those four line breaks. Anyway, I've just said please select one of the following, uh, and then I've typed out add, subtract, multiply, divide, and I've put the first letter of each in uh, parentheses. And that's the letter the user will enter to. Um, decide what they're going to use the calculator program for. And now we've created a char variable called choice and we've assigned it a value of getch. Uh, what getch means basically is get char, okay? So it gets a single character for us, specifically designed for char variables of course, um, and that's really useful. Um, it gets a single char variable for us and um, we get the getch function from conio.h. That's why we needed it up here. That's all we actually need conio.h for, just this getch, getch function. Um, and so, um, okay, moving on now. What we're going to do is we're going to assign uh, choice a value of two upper choice. And again, we get this two upper function from cc type. And that, again, that's the only reason we need cc type here. Uh, is to use the two upper function, and basically what this does is it takes whatever value is in choice at the moment, and it just makes that value uppercase. 
Okay, and the reason we're making it uppercase is because when we get down here, we we're using the switch statement, and we say case a. If we didn't use a to upper function and someone entered a lowercase a, we'd have to check for a, a an uppercase a and a lowercase a in the switch statement. So kind of be uh, really annoying. So that's why we're just using this to upper function here, so we can make anything they enter to an uppercase, and that reduces the amount of uh, checks we have to put in the switch statement. Uh, anyway, now we output thanks, and then we output uh, please input the first number, and we're just creating a float variable um, called num1, and assigning a value of null. Uh, I don't actually know why I made, well I do know why I made it float. Actually I was trying to, um, remember how very early on we talked about floating point division and stuff. Well, I thought maybe making it a float, uh, no matter what the user entered, it would add on the, the floating point on the end, and it would uh, ultimately procure a floating point value, but it doesn't, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can make it an int if you want. Um, although, you should probably um, make it a short int as well, so it takes up less space. Just thinking about a type modifier there. Anyway, so float num1 equals null, and we're assigning it null just so we can um, define it there. It's always good to define uh, variables when you declare them. Uh, and if you don't want to define them with uh, a value you're going to be using, just define them as null. And then uh, right below that, uh, I've done std sin num1. So now I'm asking, I'm uh, retrieving the number from the user. Um, and there are actually better ways of doing this. There's, there's ways you can ensure that they only put in a um, a number and not um, a character, for instance. Because sin, it collects anything, remember. And because we're not performing any checks to make sure it's a number, um, then we can't be sure it's a number. So there are better ways of doing this, but those ways require um, things we haven't actually covered yet and I want to cover properly in a tutorial. Things like getch and to upper, we can just like throw in in the middle of a tutorial like this because they're really small things. It's really simple what they do as well. This just gets a char variable, and this just um, makes whatever value we put between the parentheses uppercase. So those kind of things are easy to throw in. But uh, making sure the variable is um, only a number is a bit more complicated and requires stuff that should have its own tutorial, that's why I haven't actually done um, the the better way of doing it, but we, we'll cover that and um, I'll probably come back to the calculator program and show you how to improve it. Anyway, so we've got the first number and again we're doing exactly the same thing just with a uh, num2 variable and now we declare a, an, a variable called result and again assign it a value of null um, just so we can assign it a value and now we finally get on to switching choice and we just say remember choice is this this variable up here that received um, the uh, the let the character for whatever operation we wanted to do and remember we made it uppercase so now we're checking uh, if the ver the value in choice is a remember, for addition remember and if uh, if it is it just assigns a result a value of num1 plus num2 and I put that in between parentheses, uh, just you know, to be safe. And again, we need this vital break statement. Otherwise, we'd be reassigning result all the way through, and it would completely screw up the result itself. Anyway, moving on. S for subtract. Um, result equals num one minus num two. Break. Excuse me. M for multiply. Result equals num one times num two. Break. D for divide. Result equals num num1 divided by num2 break and finally a default saying I could not process what you wanted uh, and then after we uh, get out of that switch statement we immediately output the result okay so the result was and then the result variable um, and just so you know actually we we have this default here so what will actually happen is if someone enters like um, B for instance, because B isn't an option here, 